Hey Mario Carters and friends of fans, welcome to our channel. It's the Ninja Tour. It's good to be here. We're officially out of the Mario Tour. Thank yeah. goodness. I'm happy about it. It's doing this thing again where it doesn't look like our video is showing. Yeah, I'm curious. Ladies, when our video actually shows, tell us that you see us because we're just experimenting with life. All that to say, we're here. We're here for a good time. Plus in the chat, if you can see us. I think sometimes it just takes a second for the live connection to happen, but I think we're here. Yeah, it's weird because it like starts over. And... Yeah, it's all good. Whatever. We don't have to understand it. It just has to work. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we did not do a tour reaction last night because this girl is sick. And so I went to bed. So now we're doing our tour reaction, a little bit of a play. You went to bed, but did you go to sleep? No, I couldn't. Because <laughs> you I were because you were so excited <clears throat> for the ninja tour that your mind couldn't relax. That's what it was. You're like, man, I want to see all the buffs. I want to see all the amazingness mm -hmm. of Ninja Hideaway. Had nothing to do with like the room spinning, but no. <laughs> nothing to do with that. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm a little sleep deprived, even though I went to bed or I went to bed early. All that to say, can we open this app? Let's do it. I'm so freaking excited, guys. I've been waiting all day long. Ninja Tour is one of my favorite things ever. It's one of my favorite tours. I'm legitimately, like, very, very excited about it. And I anticipate this is the first tour in a long time that it will not wait until the last minute to get everything done. I'll wait until the last minute to get a couple <laughs> things done, but not everything. That's the clarification. <clears throat> what are you looking for to this tour? I'm looking forward to Ninja Hideaways. Me too. I'm not looking forward to maybe some of the uh, the the buff um, tracks. I guess not. Not tracks. The buff. What would you call it? The overlaps that mm -hmm. I feel like all of the items that were kind of new to the game at the very end of like right before loop tour started yeah or like loop ranked <clears throat> yeah i feel like they're all getting the same buffs like gold mario gold wiggler and wiggler me suit i feel like every time that one of them gets a buff all three of them get a buff it's and true. I took them all to eight three or you eight did. four. You did. And so it's like, why can't we spread out the wealth a little bit? Like mm -hmm. they were literally the last newest items to come to the game, and Mario is legitimately on purpose making their buff paths like <clears throat> I think it's the same. I think it's not intentional. Oh, it is. It's not intentional like annoyance or like trickery. I think it's laziness. I think that they were coming to the end of the rotation thing, and they are like, guys, let's just kind of get this done, get it out there, what makes the most sense to you. <clears throat> and they didn't do any, like, really repercussions or thoughts about it. What's up, Rubies? Okay, before we start, I want to give a shout-out to everybody here. If you guys are watching, if you'll please hit the like button. Reason being, being, we normally... Reason being. Shut up. <laughs> Reason being. <laughs> <laughs> guys, talking hard... All that to say. All that to say, we normally don't stream at this time, so I don't think our normal people like are aware we're going right now. There's been zero communication on my part besides one last live stream last night. So hit the like button so more people see it. And yeah, let's go. We're gonna bask in this one ruby screen. The Get glory of one ruby. Thank you, Mario Kart. You haven't trimmed it yet. No. Because I wanted to see if people would notice. I noticed. My big, thick beard. <clears throat> Nobody cares anymore. I've been I've been lugging this thing around for weeks. You look do like you Meowser. Do you realize how heavy this thing gets? <laughs> this thing's freaking heavy. Does it itch ever? It is quite frustrating at times. Because the thing is, is these guys are so, like, thick and bristly. I mean, it's like... You have really thick hair. It's like a shoe shine... Uh, brush like those type of bristles that are just growing out of my face. Does it hurt? Who decided that this was a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I gotta shave. Are you gonna shave? I'm gonna shave my just... whole head. Okay. Eyebrows too. Not the eyebrows. <laughs> Negativitonio. 
No. Carlos is streaming. What? It's like four in the morning there for him. What the heck is he doing streaming? Well, here's the deal. is Carlos is kind of cooler than us. So I don't really feel bad because I don't feel like we're going to take people away from him. We probably, this will not be like our normal regular streaming time. This is like friends and fangirls stick out of her mind. We are going because this is the time that works for us this time. It is what it is, but we will not be doing it at this time normally. All that to say, can we finally give a shout out to our people? Let's do it. And maybe the time zones that they're in, because some oh. people say that it's late. Some people say that it's early. And I'm like, where in the world are these people to have it be 5 a.m. or yeah. 11 p.m.? Okay. It's just afternoon time. It should be afternoon time in the whole wide world, right? Okay. I'm in the process of developing this massive project management system for my co company right now. So I'm in like a to-do list mode. So here is everybody's to-do list. One, hit the like button. Two, in the chat, let us know what time zone you are in. No, just say what time it is. Oh, that works. Yeah, just say what time it is. And if you're in daylight saving time or not yet. I like that. What time it is, but please specify, unless you're doing like the 24-hour military way, specify, specify a.m. or p.m. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> So, if you missed our stream last night, well, I started giving us a strap. What? Shout You're going to give us a strap? <laughs> <laughs> I started giving you guys a shout out. It's like Mad Libs with Frenzy Fangirl. We're going to give you guys a underscore noun. Strap! I was going to say, I was going to say shout out, but then I was changing it from top chat to live chat. And strap and... came out. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, guys. It happens. Okay. Um... Yes. Anyways, I'm on some medicine right now, so I'm like, I get really hyper, and then I dive down really quick. So I apologize for my randomness all the time, but specifically right now. All that to say, I'm going to let my voice rest. You give shout-outs. I'm shouting out. We got the Welsh Mapper. We yeah. got Timmy. We got Frenzy Fangirl. Frenzy <laughs> Fangirl's joining us. But a few minutes late, of course. We got De Niro Simpatico. We got Ooh. Paul from... Oh, and I'm going to, I was, I was going to try and be cute and say the name of the planet in Dune. Uh-huh. Arachnitid? That's not what it is. <laughs> Arach it's, it's, Arach five, it's 5 a.m. in. Araki? No. Arach, in, in, in my, Dune time. My brain does not work today, nor does it ever. But, but he says that it's 5 a.m. here. And that was kind of the reason why I wanted to have people say like what time it was. Cause I'm like, Dude, what? 5 a.m. What, what time zone is 5 a.m. right now? That's crazy. Easy. It is crazy. Thanks for joining us at 5 a.m. Yeah. I hope you didn't wake up early just to be entertained by this episode. Hopefully there was something else like I hope you did you're wake tending up early. to your kid. No, like don't do it just for us. Please do it for no, us. Oh god. It makes my heart so happy. Okay. But if five in the morning. Yes. That's normal for some people. It's not for friends to be boy unless there's a Milky Way out. Unless the Milky Way decides to smile. Then you're going to bed around 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. <laughs> We got Gargamon, we got uh, uh, Optimus Primal 12. Yeah, we do. We got Rubies, we got Matthew Butler. Yeah, I said Timmy earlier. You did. He was up, he's up yep. there. And we got Johnson Jang. Oh my gosh, and some more people. I like, keep scrolling. What, what just happened? I'm just like all of a sudden, you. there's like 40,000 more people there. I know. I mean, by 40,000, we mean at least like Brian Voice. Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Vincent. And, Vincent? and Kendrick, B98. Guys, we saw him on the grind today. He and did. He, he, he gave a special shout out to Frenzy Fangirl. He Thanks, says, Kendrick. Hi, Frenzy Fangirl. I miss you. See. I miss you guys too. I'm happy to be here. It's been a while. Out of practice on all the things. So please, please be patient with me. But holy cow. So we got 3.12 p.m. So yeah. they're an hour behind us, Pacific. Yep. UK is 22.12 p.m. For my brain, that means 10. 10. De Niro's in at 11 o'clock at night. Well, she's at 10. So we have a lot of nighttime people. So Holland? Oh, De Niro's in Holland? This is what I love, guys, is we've been doing such late streams Arrakis. lately. Arrakis. Arrakis is the name of I the I feel planet. like I was close. What was 5 p.m. 5 a.m. on Arrakis. The whole entire planet. <laughs> okay. Here's the fun thing, is all these names we're I'm not used to seeing because we've been doing such late streams, you guys are probably like in your deep slumbers when we've gone. So, guys, what a good life. Brian Voice says it's it. a little after midnight. Dude. 
Man. I told you this last night, Brian, but one of my clients is flying to you. So I've been talking a lot about Israel with her lately. Hey, Paul did wake up for the stream. And he says that he's retired. Now, are you retired from, like, a job on Earth or retired from Mario Kart Tour? Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are retiring from Mario Kart Tour. Or retired, like, hey, I'm retiring to my bed. Oh. I don't think that's what he meant, but... No. I don't get out of bed until the sun has had a stroll around the park. That's what I try to tell my nephew when I stay with him. I say, hey, until the sun pops up, you keep your little eyes closed. <laughs> and that's not the case. It never works. Andy S., get yes. out of town. Man, we got the we got Puka Puka Kirby. Kirby. We yeah. got everyone here. What a fun time to stream. Okay. Wow. I just love our people. <laughs> we got so many likes, too. Our percentage ratio of likes to people that are watching without liking us. It's because I gave people a to-do list. I'm telling you, good. project management systems, they work. Wow. That's where my brain's at right now. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to check out the news? Or do we really care about the news? Uh, mm, Tokens yeah. are by killing people. I don't think I really care about the news because I feel like everybody has already been in the app and we have not. And I'd rather just play with you guys. I'd rather take a look at all the things. Let's take a look at all the things. Take a look at the competition. Figure out if I get me suits for cheap. So what Figure are we doing out. first? Are we going to see what our, our, our ranked competition is? Are we going to no. see what buffs we got in ranked? Are we going to check out our shop? Let's first... What are we going to do, Frenzy Fangirl? Let's first go to the shop. Okay. I just want to go to the shop. I feel like that's where all the good information is. Hey, you were just talking about the Secure Sports Coupe last night, but you were calling it the Pink Hot Rod, or whatever <laughs> you were calling it. Yeah. It was like a 10-worded ten, a ten worded named thing. Did like, you bring it up because you knew it was coming? I did. Was that the whole conversation we it had last night? It was the whole conversation. You're so, so good. The whole conversation was because of that. All right, Shaggy Ninja. Is anybody buying discount? Is anybody buying the second time around the Secura Sports Coupe? I'm just wondering. Like, I haven't heard that on anybody's radar. Yeah, we were talking about this last night. I have it at level three because I bought it three, three times. Three times, but then never used it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything yeah. with it either. Which I don't spend money in the game really anymore besides Gold Pass. All right. So let's see here. Pichu Kata. I wish we, he had a better skill. We both got Poochie and 8-Bit Mario. Like the ghost boo masks on our head just look. Mwah. Remember when you made a little Photoshop thing of the boo, the boo ghost masks on your head? My head. I do remember that. And how cute it was. I think it's a sticker in our Discord. It absolutely is. Hey, nothing great in my shop, like in my daily spotlight. I never buy from a daily spotlight, do you? Yes. Pokey me. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually poke me. I just mean pokey me. Pokey me. Pokey me. Oh, buddy. Guess Ooh. what, guess what, guess what? I hope I get something cool. Please get something Come cool. Come on, Frizzy fangirl. Cool. Please get something cool. Please get something cool. Oh. I'm going to quick ticket it. Quick ticket it. <laughs> Pokey me. Pokey you. <laughs> oh, Ooh, the rainbow star <clears throat> shoot though. That's not cool. At level two. That's not worth ten thousand. No. Okay. <sighs> Guys, it's a good day to be alive. Okay, here's my question for you: Do any of these me's that are discounted have special skills? Nope, and probably not. Nope. Gargamon says that he's never seen someone so excited about information systems in his life. Oh, guys, I'm a geek about it. I just, just love it. Just love it. Just love it. Because it helps me with my own executive functioning. Okay. That's why I love it. Okay. It helps me get more stuff done. I like getting stuff done. You might notice that my hat tonight is Ooh. like the Bowser slash I like that hat. Ninja Hideaway hat. Yeah. And then underneath the bill right here, you see that? It's more Bowser stuff. And my beard is huge. I have Yoshi. So many. Yeah. Okay, are we going to see what our ranked opponents are, or are we going to take a look at our ranked loadouts? Ranked loadouts first. Okay, so first let's see what we had previously. How do you do that? Press and hold on Ninja Hideaway. Okay. Ooh. I hope they didn't take away anything. Ooh. You hope they didn't take away anything. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be cruel? You have the dark hop rod at 8-4 and the delicious black star shoot at 8-4. I'm telling you, I like the Ninja Tours. Woo-wee! Not a nonsense. Not a nonsense. 
All also, right. guys, Let's not see. that I need to explain my look to you, but I had an early appointment this morning, and I thought I had way more time. And let's just say I left the house with drenching wet hair. And this is what my hair looks like when I let it air dry. It just gets, like, wavy and curly. Wavy and curly, frenzy fan girl hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it looks like we're still using King Bob bomb Gold. Do you have him? Have you, like, acquired any more of him? Nope. He's still at 7 of 8 for me. I have him at triple. What do you have him at? I got him at 8-3, um, I think. Whoa. Oh, 8-4. No, he he's useful in a Bowser tour, apparently. Is he? Okay. <laughs> And so he's he's maxed at eight four. Guys, wouldn't it be fun if I actually did my spreadsheets and knew if I should take him to level eight? Not gonna happen. <sighs> time. If anybody wants to lend me some time. Oh man, you just slapped some tickets on the gold pipes. I just took this guy to level seven. I needed it for ranked. But is the hitbox hitbox is overpower what you could get with an eight four? Dark hop, Dark rod. hop rod. I don't think the hitbox is going to overpower it, but it might be enticing enough for me to make my Dark Hop Rod irrelevant on this one. But this is where spreadsheets come in handy. Speaking of spreadsheets, Andy S. says that Dark Hop Rod is a triple feature in in Ranked. And he goes, woohoo! Not a nonsense! Yes! Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's check this out. So that's my loadout. What's your loadout? Oh, 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 let's see here. I still am waiting for um, some crawly carts to appear I'll be right back. and some random gold pipes. Okay. Never does though. Let's see how many. Let's see how many we are close to. Oh, we're two of eight, so it only takes six tickets to get to level eight. And then we've got the delicious dark, um, star shoot black dart. What is it called? The dark star shoot or the black star shoot? It's weird that you call it delicious. Black star shoot. It looks like a piece of dark chocolate. Does it? To me, yes. It looks delicious. It looks like black licorice to me with like a little bit of red licorice. Black licorice is not delicious. That's why I'm like, why do you call it delicious? Because it reminds me of delicious chocolate. Delicious. Okay. <sighs> hey, this is fun. <laughs> You're beating me on this one. Okay. okay, let's see what we got next. Rainbow Road T, where you can only get two frenzies possible. Hold on, we didn't we didn't see what our loadouts were last time. Oh, 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 you're right. My apologies. I just cheated, but I'm really excited. Oh, boy. I don't have to boombox this one anymore. Oh, boy. I only watched part of Sammy D's stream, so I don't actually even know what's possible for me. So I don't even feel like I'm cheating. Like, I didn't feel like I really cheated. See, look at this. Gold Mario, Gold Wiggler. Yep. Yeah, the Silver Me. Interesting. Okay. I'm curious who I should use. Gold Mario maxed at 1610. Silver Me at 61620. Obviously, I'd use Gold Mario, but... Because you get two more levels there, and there's only 10 base points difference. But is there any incentive on this course to level up Silver, silver Me? We'll have to look at your competition. But I love Gold Mario. Gold Mario is just like, he's my jam. He makes life easier. He, he's my jam. Okay. He does oh. make life easier. <laughs> Guys, my loadouts are so much better than last time. Wow. Look at this beautiful. You just recently did that? Silver Cupid's arrow? No, I did that like the day it came out. So when was the last time that you played this? Go back. For Wii Rainbow Tea? Yeah. A long time ago. A year ago. When was the last time you played it? There's no way that you've got the Silver Cupid Arrow since... It didn't yeah. even come out that long ago, the Silver Cupid Arrow. It came out like right before the game stopped recycling. What? Yeah. No. It was like, one of, wasn't it one of like the last cards that was released? What? I feel like it was one of the last cards that was released. What? I thought it came out before the the... Blue crawly cart, white crawly cart. No, white crawly cart was first. Really? Mm hmm. I know these things. Oh boy. Just call me an MKT savant. Not really, don't. It's a lot of responsibility. I definitely do not have the chops. Okay, look at you go. All right. Well, that's so fun. There it is. Okay, I'm excited to see the glider. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My Monads are so much better than last time. Oh, yeah. Silver Cupid came out in the Princess Tour, Optimus Primal says. Oh, man. Yep, and that one's has yet to show up this year. You know, I'm very happy here. Yeah, I'm still uh, kind of... I think I'm rocking pretty much the same thing, except for... Yeah. Um, I think I'm winning this lighter, one. But yeah, look at you. It's it's my favorite track in the entire tour. I love Rainbow Road so much. This is like a disappointing Rainbow Road of the game. Yeah. But I love Rainbow Roads. So at least it'll be more fun for me this time. Especially like this is one like I all like with those half pipes. I wonder if Gold Mario will do well. Oh yeah, if you don't go up the half pipes, mm -hmm. but you just kind of like go at a Woo! obtuse angle. An obtuse angle. Or acute. Yeah. Which one would that be? I would say horizontal. You go but like on the line from the horizon, of the horizon, just barely above the horizon, would that be an acute, acute from if you're measuring the horizon here, yeah. or would it be obtuse if you're measuring the horizon from the horizon from here going out? One might say, "Bring me the horizon." I don't oh. know, but I would say acute. But I'm totally in my high school dropout, so yeah, I think it might be more of an acute angle. That's what I just said. I'm agreeing oh. with you, frenzy fangirl. <laughs> The way that you said so it. So hostile. <laughs> I'm also tied towards myself. <laughs> I'm like, I think it'll be a cute. You're like, yeah, so I think it'll be more of an acute. And I'm like, hey, Davey. Davey's here. Okay, first out. First out. First off. First off. Second off, third off, fifth off. Shout out to Davey and my good friend Masa for being the people who helped me out last night in multiplayer. I don't know why everybody else was on crack, but... You, else was very mean. Man, it was They're being vicious. very obtuse to you. <laughs> I would or never were they being acute? I wouldn't describe someone as obtuse. Oh, you can definitely describe someone as obtuse. Yeah? I don't know what it means, <laughs> but I've heard that you can say that, yeah. oh, that person is very obtuse. Mm -hmm. Someone help me out in the chat. What does it mean? Is that a, is that a compliment or... Uh, Insult if someone calls you obtuse. Ob like for me, that feels like it's you're, like you're so obtuse. You're so like large, right? Oh, that, that's why I did. Okay, so is that like is acute? That like provincial. Oh, tell me this thing. Obtuse feels like large, right? So I feel like if it comes up like this, it's acute because it's just coming up a little bit. But if it's down like this, it's obtuse because it's like technically that whole piece. Visually, does that make sense? I mean, it all depends on your perspective. Obtuse is an insult. Obtuse That's what I was thinking. So what's a synonym to obtuse? Is it like annoying, ornery, belligerent, uh, ignorant. difficult? Yeah, ignorant, difficult to deal with, obtuse. Rubber goose, green, green moose, moose, guava, guava juice. giant juice. No, juice, just, just guava juice. Giant snake, birthday cake, large fries, chocolate shake. This is rubies. a great... Rubies? I love it, rubies. <laughs> What? Friends and fanboy doesn't world? get it, but I'm with ya. Is that a is that is that a Obtuse is that a Taylor Swift? Goose. Is that a Taylor Swift song? Let's sing it. Obtuse, Obtuse rubber, rubber goose, goose, green moose, green moose, moose, moose dry green snake, snake, birthday cake, cake, large fries, fries chocolate shake. shake. We have to that, say them correct. <laughs> but that's a Taylor Swift song. That's my favorite Taylor Swift song. <laughs> You're official. I'm now a Swifty. You're a Swifty. I've now been baptized and I'm an official Swifty. I love it. All right, let's watch. <laughs> let's look at dry, dry ruins. <laughs> What'd I you, am. What did you get last time? I got 45,276 points. Oh, snap. I hope we I have better laid We have the same loadouts. But, but yours wait. were so much better. You had a four single, probably, and I had a six something. Six, seven. Yeah, I think I think it's better now. Odd parents. Fairly odd parents. Oh, that's the theme song. Oh. There's a, okay, there's a TV show called Odd Parents, and that's the theme song for it. If it's not Bluey, I don't watch it. You don't watch Bluey. <laughs> Bluey is the only thing that I watch. No, did you hear my little nephew today on the phone? No, when, when was I? When were you with me? I don't know. That, that, that does not register. I was on the phone with my sister out there. Okay. And my little nephew was like fevering last night. And so he was telling my sister about his dreams. And he's like, Bluey was in my room, and I kept telling Bluey to leave, and he would not leave. He's like, 
it was Bluey who put the hole in the wall. And my sister's like, what? There's a hole in your wall? Bluey did it, Mom. It wasn't me. <laughs> so my sister went and looked. There's no hole in the wall. But... Okay, so we're going to have to make a mental note of this. Have you heard of Odd Parents? I've heard of Is it. Odd but Parents? It's Fairly Odd Parents, you see. Oh, now. Fairly Odd Parents. Mm-hmm. Is that like a cartoon? How how is this not on my radar? Fairly odd parents. Look it up on your phone. Don't like uh, play anything because copyright issues. But fairly odd parents. Fairly odd parents. You'll recognize it when you fairly see it. Fairly odd parents. Fairly. We've never watched an episode. Odd parents. American animated series. Yep. Ha! Plug it in. Plug it in now so people can see. From Nickelodeon. Yeah. Like you'll recognize it. I recognize the, I recognize. It's like a Nicktoon. I recognize the artwork. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but I don't think, I mean, there's got to be like other cartoons that have characters that look like this. So I used to watch this a little bit, but it kind of came out like late middle school. So I wasn't as into cartoons at the time. So I used to watch some episodes of it. But not so much that if someone randomly said the word obtuse, I would remember the entire, like, intro to it. Yeah. It's funny to me that Ruby's, we say the word obtuse, and he's like, Nickelodeon cartoon show. He, you know, he knew the whole theme, theme song. I yeah. know. This blows my mind. And Maybe then, Ruby's is a Nickelodeon animator. Were we on tune at all with it? Ruby's, are you a Nickelodeon animator? No, I think he just likes cartoons. I think he might be a professional animator. I think okay. this might be... See, look. Created by Butch Hartman. That's Ruby's. Ruby's, Ruby's name is Butch. <laughs> I remember this from a long time ago. You're cray cray. One of our conversations in the discords. You're just making stuff up now. No, his name is Butch Hartman. I don't know if you guys know this, but Frenzy Fanboy is the worst liar in the world. Everyone believes that Butch Hartman is the name of Ruby's right now. Frenzy Van Boy's the worst lion in the world. One, he can't keep a straight face. Two, he has instant guilt and, like, apologizes. <laughs> With that laugh. When you... Even when someone else, is li- even when someone else lies and uh-huh. I know that they're lying, my face... <laughs> it's like... My favorite color is orange. <laughs> what? Guys, okay. I'm sorry. We're not moving into our house for 16 more months. What? We were talking. What? About, okay, I did lie. We were talking to. We were like, we weren't into our house yet. We were supposed. To, we weren't going to move into our house for like two months. But oh, it was like three weeks. No, it was like we were searching for furniture. Yeah, yeah. In the place that we live. But who knows? Like they put our house up really quick, so I didn't know. Maybe we were gonna have some delays. But the guy was like. He was like a like a car salesman. He's like, we're gonna get you the best furniture in the world. And you're gonna order it right now. He had like that type of energy. What's up, Pepper Rabbit? Hey. He had that type of energy where he's just like, I'm gonna sell you furniture, and you can't leave my store without buying it, and I'm gonna tie you up and make you miserable. That was, that was not his aura at all. That's how I feel when people try to sell me things. That was not his energy. That's... He was just very kind and wanted to know. So, when are you moving into your house? I'm a people pleaser, and all of a sudden, I felt like I was gonna disappoint him. I said, I don't know, I like, like six wait, to eight months. What? And Frenzy Fanboy. Do you know boy. something? I don't. Like, we just got done talking with the... I was like, we're not going to really buy... Builder. I said, we're not going to really buy anything today because we're not going to move into our house for, like, six to eight months. And Frenzy Fanboy goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just didn't want the guy to feel bad that I didn't want to buy furniture from him. Oh, boy. It... Oh, boy. Okay. Now we've done it. Pepper Rabbit is here. I know, I love Pepper Rabbit. He's not lurking. I'm here, but no. I missed him last night. I think we even said on the... Oh, yeah, we... It was really late. We were we were missing Pepper Rabbit, and we were also missing... I got ahead of you. What is that face? What is that face? got ahead of you. Because... We're also missing uh, where, where, Cha-Cha Chubbs. Cha-Cha Chubbs. Where did Cha-Cha Chubbs go? Does anybody know if Cha-Cha Chubbs retired from... She did not retire. We just deserted her fans? for a month. We deserted her for a month. I don't know, man. She has to get back in the habit of loving us. All right. So, wait. Dry, dry ruins. Okay. So, you looked at it, and then what's... Well, because I only have a level face? four. What's this face? <clears throat> Show me what's going on with your face. I got him. I don't know if he's going to be better, but I just when like... When did you boxes. do that? When I wanted to. How many months ago? The How many months ago I wanted to? And this is probably the first time that you're using them. No! <laughs> 
no, yes. no. What? He is not a good investment. I never invest Just tickets. Admit it. No, he was probably a great necessity for me. He's not a good investment. He was probably. Hey, Pepper Rabbit, you know my account so intimately. <laughs> you know everything about what I do. What track would I be using Luigi Gold Knight on that would have justified me leveling him up to level 7 from level 6? Because I very distinctly remember him being at level 6. I feel like that was an emotional decision. That was a ready fire aim. There's nothing wrong with ready fire You're aim. You're not even going to use him though. What's your yellow suit at? Well, I've done that since then. Obviously. Do we both have... You have... Oh... Seven six. I've got him at seven two, yeah. or maybe seven one. I only have him at. Six. I have him at seven one. I wonder. Why do you have him at seven one? That's so like why. That is a little bit. That's more like a ready aim fire. Ready. No, fire it's aim. ready, 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 ready. Load. No. Wait. Ready. Ready. Ready ready still not ready to fire you just can't mock me i'm sorry you can't mock me for having a luigi knight at six level seven three six. when you have a yellow me at seven no, one there's yellow nothing... me has been used like 14 million times in ranks but you would get more points with him at six double than seven one so what was your we're figuring this out right now so at seven one he's worth 97 20 remember that 97 20 okay and at yours, five times eighteen thirty. Mine's worth more than yours. Well, yeah, because you have them at level seven. But only single capped. You have yours at six and double capped. All I'm saying is that I've preserved my tickets properly. Okay. And I'm I bet actually <clears throat> getting better usage out of them. Than you are with playing Gold Luigi Knight. Okay, Meowser. <sighs> Got a little Meowser going on. Roma Vante 2R, the very next tour. So it's been a year. So you've used him once in one year. No, I've used him since then. Okay, I've so played with him. This is the second time that you've used him and ranked. No, I, I don't know. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is. My guess is I think this Bowser Tour is coming up soon, right? Last year, this time, you were like on ultra hoarding mode because you were saving for Bowser Tour. I remember this whole thing. You're on ultra hoarding mode and you're like, I'm only going to do what I need to do because I want to save as much as I can. And I think that's why you made this decision. But I feel like you would have raced Yellow Me Suit since then. Oh no, I have. And I've only needed so, him at this level in order to be able to be successful in the game. Gotcha. I don't know if you know or not, but I've beat the game already. You beat the game. I okay. haven't beat the game yet. So get this. Uh, is it Fairly Odd Parents or Fairy Odd Parents? Is there an L in there? Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of fairies in those drawings that ruby draws mm -hmm. is it fairy odd parents or fairly odd parents rubies i wasn't pretty much i was like a yeah i was a 90s kid that's you were an 80s kid gargamon though came kid. through with the uh the definition of obtuse it's lacking quickness of perception or intellect yeah hence the reason why we're not very familiar with the term <laughs> nobody obtuse. ever calls us obtuse no oh. they don't call us obtuse oh. If we went through life and, like, everyone called us obtuse every week, we would probably know what it meant. Or are we obtuse because we are ignorant to knowing what obtuse means? <laughs> We're not very quick. I am very obtuse for the perceiving. definition of obtuse. <laughs> Hold on. Gargamon said something about Cha Cha Chubs. Wishing Cha Cha Chubs the best after Frenzy fans ghosted her. I didn't mean to ghost her. Just because we missed one night of streaming, which happened to equate to... An a entire month? month of not being on YouTube? <laughs> That's considered ghosting? Aim, fire, ready. Yes. When did the bar get so low? Let's see. Can we talk about this for a second? You make fun of my ready, fire, aim strategy. Okay. A lot. I can take it. I can take it. You make fun of it a lot. No. All I'm, I'm saying... Sorry. I apologize. I don't, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. You don't hurt my feelings. I'm just saying... 
there is a time and place for ready, fire, aim. If you are always ready, aim, fire, sometimes you never aim or sometimes you're never ready and you never fire. Sometimes it's good to just freaking do the thing and figure it out as you go. Our entire YouTube channel, what was it? Ready, fire, aim. Frenzy Fans is the definition of ready, fire, aim. Frenzy Fans? Our YouTube no. channel. Okay. We had no plan. We were just like, let's do this thing. What are you talking about? I made a calculator. It's mm -hmm. like the very definition of planning. <laughs> we didn't and know then how we to... decided to make a YouTube channel to teach people how to use the calculator. We didn't show our faces for forever. Right. Very calculated. <laughs> <laughs> that was very intentional. There's not a whole lot that we <clears throat> did like haphazardly here. <laughs> Gargamon said, Frenzy Fan Boy's beard beat the game, not him. It's true. Okay, I want... Did you just roar? It's fairly. So not it's fairy. It's fairly. It is fairly. Fairly odd parents. All right. All right where were we? We're deciding if this tour at some point in time, eventually I'm going to need to take my yellow me racing suit to level seven. Therefore, making my gold knight Luigi irrelevant and frenzy fanboy going to bed knowing that once again, he is smarter than me. That will have only happened for like two nights in my life. Blazing Eagle. Do we both have... We both have... Knuckles. We both have knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What are you going to use on this one? I'm going to use the... Straw, you have the, a... The, the strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and by strawberry milkshake, I mean 8-bit 1-up mushroom, of course. I knew what you meant. Because <laughs> strawberry milkshakes are green and brown like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no here it comes here it comes it's not gonna stop give him like 10 seconds the tears are gonna come soon the tears are gonna come and then right about now he goes bright red and then in a second he won't be able to talk he's gonna lose his breath in a second Okay, next week's ranked, or should no, we see what he's our... He's going to talk through his laughs, and then like give him like five seconds, he'll be back at it. <laughs> should we see what our opponents are like? Should we see if they too have milkshakes? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oy, 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 oy. Ooh, sass me. Sauce me. Saucy, saucy, sauce me. You have the big boss in yours. Do we know any of these players first? Okay, guys, I need everybody to pay attention and look at our screens. Oh, there are so many people that haven't played the game yet. Maybe they're waiting for our. I have a lot of top one thousand players. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what's happening. I apologize when I put my face off the screen. It's intentional. Do you need another tissue? No. Nope. Would you like me to get you another tissue? No, I already ran off and grabbed one. We're good. <clears throat> Wait, Puka Kirby? Puka Kirby. That sounds so familiar. Yeah, they're in our... Puka Kirby! Where they're you... in our chat. Where are, you... Where are you at, Puka Kirby? Oh my gosh! Puka Kirby, you and I are buddies. Puka Kirby! Why haven't you played yet? Puka, Puka, Puka Kirby, where are you at? Woo! Hey, Sammy's on the wrong account. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, he says wrong account. Don't care. Don't ban me, Antelev. <laughs> Guys, here's Don't the Sammy thing. D yourselves. Guess what happened today during the grind? Sammy D and I are just having a normal conversation, completely off topic like <laughs> always. And then Antelev's like, nope. I'm annoyed. Negative nope. Antonio. I'm going to delete all of Frenzy Fangirl's comments and ban her. For life. And I was like. For life. Like was, for the rest of the yeah. eternity that YouTube exists. I know. And I was joking. And I was like. <laughs> Frenzy fanboy, and a love hates me. And he's like, "What? I'm banned." And he's like, "Sammy D." <laughs> Sammy D thought maybe you were mad at him. 
<laughs> Sammy D thought that I was? Yeah, he's like, was Frenzy Fanboy, like, angry? And I, I was, was like... so nice about it. I just said, what does Frenzy Fangirl have to do to be able to chat again? I know. And then I, I told... I that was nice. It was very nice. And then I told Sammy D, I was like, don't worry. Sometimes I can't read the tone either. And so I was like, are you mad at me? And you're like, why would I be mad at you? And I'm like, there wasn't a happy emoji in that. <laughs> Anyways, all that to say... No, Frenzy Fanboy was not mad. He was just going to bat for me because he's like, well, I miss were... Frenzy Fangirl spamming emojis. That's what you really felt deep down in your heart. Well, and you were like, I don't think I can comment anymore on on, no, I on, on, on his videos. And I was like, <laughs> I like, don't know how to fix this. <laughs> like, comment and be like, nobody's seen it. I wonder if Sammy knows how to fix me. this. Anyways, so, yeah. all I have to say, Sammy D, best YouTuber out there because he was freaking like, let me message Antelev right now. Antelev has already messaged me. We've been talking on Discord. Everything's rectified. Sammy D fixed it on the fly. I'm so glad that you and Antelev have like this this conversation going back and forth. We I don't do. think Antelev and I have ever conversed. This was the first time via Discord that he and I have like interacted. You, but know, yes. you know how I feel towards Antelev? You... I feel like Antelev is like the star quarterback player in my bio my, in my biology class and that like, the marching... sits across the. You're the, in the, the marching room, band and play the and, trumpet. Like, everyone's watching him and like thinks he's so cool. And yeah, I'm on the over. I'm on the other side of the the class, like with my trumpet player geek friends, and like our paths, our orbits are just never going to cross. I'm sorry you feel that way. I think you're really cool. Well, no, that's okay. But I'm saying like that's fun that you have this this r rapport with Antelev. We literally just talked on Discord for like a couple seconds. That's a couple seconds more than I've ever <laughs> talked with him, though. That's what I'm saying. See, now I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like we're a couple of girls. And yeah. We're like, oh my gosh, the star quarterback talked to you. He's never talked to me. But this That's is actually... how I feel. I'm jealous of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think our high school personalities are coming out. I wasn't a popular person, but I was friends with everybody. So, like, I was friends with, like, the popular people. And I was friends with the yearbook staff and the marching band. But see, the thing is, the is drama club. you were the, the athlete, though. You were the person that everyone wanted to get to know. But I wasn't in the popular group. I no, was just like... but you weren't in band, either. Like, being I, in band and not in athletics, like, automatically puts you, like, behind the curve. I'm sorry for that. Being way. a star goalkeeper that, like, every high school in the entire state sought after, of course the, the quarterbacks are going to talk with you. I think Of you, course Antelev is going to talk with you. I would have been your best friend in high school. I don't know about that. One of my best friends was the trumpet player in the marching band. So, you know, who are you? Who am I? Who I'm Frizzy Fanboy. Oh. Who were you? Who was I? Yeah. Not that that's your identity, but you were the trumpet player in the marching band. I was the trumpet player in the marching band. I'm just saying, you and I would have been buddies. We would have hung out all the time. That's all I'm saying. Sammy D wants to know, who am I in the classroom? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this can is a good I, question. Can, can, can this be a safe space here? I hope so. I hope this is always a safe space. I, I don't I don't want... Your phone died. No, it didn't. It's just we've not paid attention to, to, Mario, Kart? to Mario Kart in a bit. I also don't want to ignore Puka Kirby. Dude, oh, no, maybe it did die. let me know what's going on with you and how I need a plan. No, you're at like 40%. Yeah. Okay. You're good. I envision... Sammy D, mm -hmm. as kind of like, I don't want to say like gothic or emo, mm, but I want to say, say, I want to say like definitely in the artistic mm -hmm. clan. I see so Sammy like, as like, like, oh sorry, go for the, it. The, like the people like at lunch that, mm -hmm. um... You know, like, they all sit together because they're all friends, mm -hmm. but they all kind of, like, have their own definition of, like, fashion, and they... Like the indie crew? Yeah, you know, like, they're not really, like, they don't really want to mm -hmm. conform to any particular group, and mm -hmm. so that group of people, like the nonconformists, mm -hmm. 
by non-conforming, have conformed now to... I've always pictured <laughs> Sammy group. D as, like, the Dawson of Dawson Creek. Where well, he's that like, doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, that's fine. But, yeah, not gothic. Like, I would never say Sammy <laughs> D is gothic. But, like, the indie group, like, the like the photographer, artsy, like, we're going to make films all the time type. So, like, Dawson... Yeah. Okay. You sh- we should watch an episode of Dawson okay. Creek. Okay. I view... And I'm probably totally off, too. But, like... There was that group, and, like, the group was very, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, wide-skilled and, like, different personality types. Okay. But they all had, like, a deep-rooted connection with each other because they are all just, like, really, really good people. Yeah. And they all had, like, their little artsy things and would do, like, projects together and have fun and that type of stuff. I guess I, guess I can't really envision Sammy mm-hmm. D as... And correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. Sammy, but for some reason I don't really see him in, like, like the advanced, like, math or, like, science classes or, like, Brit Lit English. Like the AP classes? Yeah. The, someone that's, like, super studious and, like, not really worried about, uh, like, social interactions or, like, artistic forms of uh, expression. I'm saying he's not that because I feel like he is way more of an artist and mm. is he does value more like the mm-hmm. the interpersonal relationships. Mm-hmm. And so I think that like during high school he would have chosen to spend the majority of his time mm-hmm. uh doing social things more so. I'm not saying like 100% 0% but teeter totter more on the social side than the academic side. Hmm. That's that that's that's how I see him. That's how I envision him. And I envision him kind of like that, but also thriving in the things that he was actually passionate about. Like if he was like in yearbook club, he was probably like the best yearbook person ever type thing. Okay. Anyways, okay, so Sammy says, but the only relevant question is would Aunt Love talk to me? And my answer is yes, because you would come up with some type of project that required his interaction and you would find a way to like make him feel cool but also accomplish your goal with it whether like you're on your book and you're like hey we're doing this or you like we're filming something or like i think antelope would absolutely talk to you yes that's my take on life yeah so then he says he literally got held back in math a year but was in AP English. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. I feel like he would have really good th- grades in the things that he, like, really, really loved. Uh-huh. And then when it came to the things he didn't like, he'd probably be like, "Yeah, I'd rather learn how to drum. Yeah. Ooh, so this brings up another good question. Sammy, were you ever in marching band? We know that you're a drummer, but did you start, like, way early in, like, the elementary school and kind of go... Like continue in that in high school because a lot of the drummers like drumline yeah. in high school yeah oh man Dude. like those guys are insane like they really are <clears throat> wow yeah. and I'd go to the drumline practices just because I would be like well, this is amazing guys I'd literally sit there and just be like so like did i ever tell you about the only talent show i ever did in high school no. and how it was with the drum line what what how have i known you for like 14 decades i don't know and this is just now coming up only talent show i've ever done because i don't have many talents that would like are actually displayed on a stage like it's just not my thing <laughs> so they came up with this drum line performance and it was like this whole thing but i was like really good at like juggling soccer balls like both with my feet and like I could have five soccer balls at once, like juggling them. And so we choreographed this whole thing because two of my really good friends were on the drum line and I always joked about, <laughs> there's nothing I can ever do on a stage. And they're like, we're going to make this happen, Danny. And so we practiced for like months and that was the only talent show I've ever been in. In high school. In middle school, I did a very something, really, really something stupid. But yep, wow. that was my skill. Huh. Yep. It was like a choreographed dance type thing I did with balls, like with my feet while they were doing the drums. It was pretty fun. Yeah. I wish I had a video of it. Yeah. So like marching band was difficult. It okay. was hard. Like it made sense that you could letter in marching band because like you can letter in sports. Yeah. And marching band to a certain extent 
could be arguable. It could be argued that it is a sport as well, especially Ooh. like the competitions. Like you're competing against other marching bands. Yeah. Um, but it's a physical thing. Like you're on a football field, like running around and blowing air into an instrument. And yeah. you have to like memorize all of the plays, like mm-hmm. where you're supposed to be, when, and all that good stuff. Yeah. The thing is, is I don't know. For some reason, I would think that being in the drum line would be harder. Like, playing a wind instrument, you have to be able to um, control, like, your lung capacity, not only in playing, but also in, like, moving your body around. Yeah. But with the drummers, they're not necessarily, they they don't need to, like, use their lungs for wind, Mm -hmm. but they're carrying around anywhere from, like, 15 to maybe 50 pounds, like, those big, huge bass drums. Yeah. That, like, they sit on your torso, Mm -hmm. and it's, like, just as long as you are tall. Totally. Those things are huge they really are and they have to like run around but here's the thing is they all are in charge of one note uh-huh. like the snares and then you've got like four or five maybe six different sized bass drums yeah and in order to be able to like play melodically together especially the bass drums they have to like just play like the random times mm-hmm. that they're supposed to play which I it's just like the it. one note, yeah. just like randomly on off beats or on on beats mm-hmm. or on whenever. And I just think that it would take like so much more like mental capability or capacity to yeah. be able to be successful in a drum line. In fact, I think you had to try, you had to try out for drum line. Oh yeah. Whereas like mm-hmm. the rest of the marching band, mm-hmm. you didn't have to. Yeah. And I, I think if you didn't make the drum line, they yeah. put you in pit, <laughs> which is like you're on the xylophones or like the... The crashing symbols or whatever that's just like on the sideline the yeah. entire time. Like you don't move at all. Yeah. Our <laughs> drum, line, a drum line was super competitive. Like I was always like in awe of like the athleticism and like precision and just like coordination everyone had. It blew my mind. Like I had nothing but admiration for drummers, especially people on drum line. So Sammy D said his high school was sort of artsy. We had a jazz band and a pep band. We didn't have a drum line except for one year, and yes, I did it, was the principal. Dude, the principal would be hard. That would be so much, oh, the coordination, like, the ability to, like, yeah, wrangle people. <laughs> oh, fun. So he says, yeah, I played first bass drum. Okay. Okay, so he knows what it's like, where yeah. you're just that one note of a bass drum, and the music line, or, like, the melodic yeah. line in the bass like in the drum line is like but you're only in charge of the so it's like I would fail so bad for 15 minutes like you have to know like when your one note is like needing to be played like super randomly I mean not randomly obviously because it's like organized music composed but being able to like know exactly when to hit like the right and the left because it's just one note and i love our channel <laughs> have we dropped look at this we've got 20 likes to 23 viewers people are hanging out yeah this is great <laughs> i mean we'll never have like thousands of viewers but people who thank like, goodness still hang out with us <laughs> thank goodness we never have to retire from real jobs <laughs> you wouldn't think it'd be the most important but oh you already read that yeah Dude, I can't even imagine how hard it is. Like, my brain does not function like that. I cannot, like, I don't know. There's so much organization with that. You can totally derail our um, channel anytime you want, and I will not. Okay. I will not hide your comments, nor will okay. I block you. Oh, <laughs> oh snap. snap. <laughs> Just kidding. I know it wasn't intentional. Okay. Is mine going to come back up? There yes. It is. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm not... Uh, so I have Puka Kirby. When did uh, Puka Kirby, did they ever come back? I don't think he chat? came back. Puka Kirby, I want to know did what you're know? planning on getting. Okay, so Sammy D, I don't know if you missed the beginning, but I'm going to go through this one more time. So these are my loadouts right here. Someone said the Dark Hop Rod's a triple feature, so I'm excited to see if I use it three times or if I don't. So we got a 788, which is a killer loadout for that one. Maybe I take him to level 8 this time. Probably not. And then, Sammy D, I miss your Rainbow Road grind. I was only there for the very end. Are you using Gold Mario? We have Gold Mario. We've got the Silver Cupid Arrow. And He's that beautiful thing. Silver Misu. Oh, he was? Okay. Puka Kirby, I'm glad you're lurking. What are your plans for rank this week? 
And then for Dry Dry Ruins, Frenzy Fanboy was taunting me about my Gold Knight Luigi. But I'll probably end up using him, him, and him. And those are my loadouts. Summary. Next week's looking good. Oh, did you already look without me? I mean, <clears throat> just a segue. Okay. Let's look at next week. You ready? Oh, you already are there. <laughs> okay. Ooh, moving into Arsante. Yes. This is fun. I lo- this is why I loved the Ninja Tour. I remember why I loved it now. I used silver. More actions, basically, but gold is good. Anything that track money. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, okay. I get you. I wonder if gold me, or not gold me, gold Mario. We were talking about this originally. If you go at like a horizontal or acute line on the half pipe, can you pick up a lot of coins? That's my question. Ooh, yeah. I think I have a fully max loadout. You got a better loadout than I do. I've only got a triple capped glider. I'm okay with this, guys. I love the Ninja Tour. I love the Ninja Tour. Okay, Pukas is not sure what I'm doing yet, but I have been playing super casually, dropping tears. Okay, I like drop and then, depending on how busy, how busy I am, I'll drop and then come back up. Okay. Try Dry Ruins Tea. Okay, what were you at last time? Gold Me is double feature? Whoa. We have the exact same loadout. Yeah, we do. I think... <clears throat> have we changed any of them yet? So we got the gold me. Okay. Charms. Yes, I've maxed out my hard hat since I played last. Yeah, because you just did that last tour, I think. Because the last tour was a triple feature. Like, not this past tour, but the tour before that? Mm-mm. No, it was already at that. I didn't. No, I just watched you do it the other night. You did it after I did it because I said, "Oh my gosh, oh, it's a double you're feature! Right. It's a it's a double feature this week." You're right. I didn't do it the first week. Yep, one hundred percent right. Then I looked to see how many times it's going to be like fourteen times for the rest of the loop, and I was you're like, right. "Might as well just do it." I know we were talking. I don't know if your guys' brains do this sometimes, but there was another time where I was debating about the gold pipe cart. So for some reason, even though we had that whole conversation, this conversation, I was thinking about the gold pipes, and I was like, mm. "Yeah." Anyways, but yes, you're right. I did this like right at the beginning of the tour because you told me to, and I. Thought it was a brilliant idea. Okay, Sammy D says that Gold Mario is good for half pipes. Easier said than done to get the whole strip of them, though. Yeah. Okay. And you gotta like really work the bots down so that they're not like passing you, because that kind of like slows you down. I think if yeah. you try and. <clears throat> okay. But. I hope that this one get got some buffs yeah, and so loves. People in the chat have been saying that. Um, they're going to be some fun buffs that they're looking forward to us seeing. So I've got a good cart and glider here, but my driver was just a 7-3 pink ninja shy guy. I have a good cart, but not a good driver or a glider last year. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm nervous. Oh, <gasps> Gold Mario hype! Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Heck look yes. at look at so Gold Mario, Gold Wiggler, and Gold or er, regular Wiggler. regular Wiggler me suit and Peach Happy. I didn't have Peach Happy above level four last year when we played this. I invested heavily in her this past year because she's my girl and I love her and I want to be her. But mm-hmm. I have some good options. Yeah, but I so. think it. Uh, Joss, who is a pro, was telling me that I was going to like it. And it's true, I do, but I kind of wish that on some of the other courses that I don't have as good. And I guess next week it's gold me, gold me. And then Will you now, pull up your physical kinda... phone calculator and do some math for me? What is better? Gold Mario 8 16, 10? Or... Okay, so that's 11... 11 or... Wiggler me at 2070. What level? Seven. What did I say? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. At so, seven. So remember 11 to 70. Okay. Oh. So then we do six times 2070. All right. 
Wiggler me at seven twenty seventy is better than gold me at eight sixteen ten. Cool. You mean gold Mario? Gold Mario. Yep. I don't know why. <laughs> Because Gold Mario is me. No, I don't know. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. But yes, I mean Wiggler me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what's next? Um, I hope I get a good cart. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I already had a good cart. Ooh, hitbox, guys. Question. Ooh. Hop Rod? Ooh. Or Black B Dasher Mark II? Man. I do have 101 of these. But I want to use them wisely. Oh, okay, so for now it's that. Ooh, yes! Guys. That's a good buff for you. I am so happy. I do not have to use the cat ears. The pink ones. What are they called? Parafoil? Yeah. That's fun. I have great loadouts next week. That's actually a pretty good... Those are some of your favorite things in the game, yep. are they not? So, I have fully eight there, but we obviously wouldn't do that. It would be this one. That oh. one. And that one. But see, here's the <clears> thing. <throat> is I'm glad that you're getting some good use out of the we the we the Wiggler Me racing suit. Mm -hmm. Like, he's been just so OP wiggles. for yeah. such a long time. Mm-hmm. How many more times do we use him in the next, like, six months? I don't, you don't expect you to know that off the top of your head. Well, that's the thing, is we he's going to be getting a lot of buffs. <laughs> like, for the courses that it sees for the first time, like Ninja Hideaway RT. Okay. So, yeah. If my rank is crazy, I do have the option to take him to level 8. I have 57 tickets, but I kind of, oh. Guys, I need to do my spreadsheets. I'm a hot mess. I need to know these things. I procrastinated. I actually Would that be have something interesting to have people yeah. watch us do like on a live stream. Well, oh, guys, okay, here's how I work in life. If you guys will be my accountabilities, I will totally do a live stream and just like hang out with you, talk about random stuff while you guys hold me accountable to doing my spreadsheets. It's like study hall. <gasps> yes. Oh, We're Mario keeping... Kart study hall. <clears throat> Mario, oh, I like Mario it. Mario Kart tour study hall. I like it. We're gonna stick with this whole high school theme. <laughs> Hey, Sammy D, will you come to study hall and hang out with us while will, I do my homework? Are you be our study buddy? You're going to be like the tutor because... I'll be the tutor. You've done your homework. Like, you're the kid who did the homework in class before the teacher was done actually teaching the assignment. Well, usually it's someone that's like already <clears> in the <throat> class, so I beat the game. So yeah, I can be the tutor. Perfect. Okay. Who wants to play some multiplayer? Oh, not I, said the Frenzy fanboy. You don't want to play multiplayer? No, I gotta recover for like at least a week. From last night? You got so grumpy. Oh boy. I just really do not enjoy multiplayer. Andalev can come to study hall. I'll DM him. Better invite Andalev to study hall. <laughs> hey Davey, will you come to study hall? He wrote the textbook. I don't think he's gonna come. Usually like textbook writers don't come to like... Okay. To study halls. Sammy D's been asking for that stream for one to two years. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Right, let's do it this coming up week. I have my calendar is like you look at it and it's just like booked across the board. But next week I was supposed to be out of town and I canceled that trip. So I'm gonna be here. Let's do it. Yay. <clears throat> next week, hold me accountable, Sammy D. I'm saying it now. Text me your schedule because I want you to be present during oh, my you know study what? hall. We might actually need to do it because are we even going to be in town for the next tour reset? Well, we can take it. We're going to be in Austin for an entire week for the Total Eclipse, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I'll bring all my streaming gear for that because I'm going to be working all week from there. So I need to have my whole setup anyways, huh? besides my... <clears throat> I normally wouldn't bring my mic, but I'll bring my mic. Did anybody see that? I'm a pro at this game. This guy. Nobody saw that. Kid. I didn't see it, but I'll no. watch it on the replay. <laughs> watch here. What happened here? Oh, now you're messing me up again, Frenzy Fangirl. It's all my fault. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to watch it. On... I completely missed the <laughs> item boxes. You sure did. Which one are you playing right now? Just the today's challenge. Okay, Davey will be there, just not during work hours. I'm cool for I'm cool with that. We'll do it like we'll do like I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll take a poll. I want Sammy D to be there. He's my buddy. I want to make sure you coach me during it. <clears throat> okay. 
question for you. We're going to do a poll really quick. The poll is going to be, what should I do right now? Should we do, hold on. Okay, what should we do? Get ready. Um, the question is going to be multiplayer or I am going to just uh, play some ranked. We have 21 people watching, so I need 10 people to participate in this poll. What should FFG do? Whoopsie. I can't type today. Multiplayer and 10 people are going to join me or rank. Here's the thing with streaming. It's really not an excuse. Like I have the tiny bit of delay with my whole setup here. And so like rank sometimes just isn't fun for me like to stream live because I feel like I'm just missing things because it's disoriented, disorienting. Okay, let's see if anybody participates in my poll. Are you doing rank right now? No, what I told you? you. Today's challenge wave. That makes sense. Today's challenge race, whatever. Wait, why did you reset for today's challenge? Because I missed an item box. But it's just a today's challenge. I you're gonna... want items. <laughs> like, you're going to do it again with the loadouts that you want. Very good point, Frenzy Fangirl. Very good point. That's just why I was confused. That's all. We only have two votes. Let's see if we can get a few more votes, and then I'll decide what to do. Maybe it's because I'm oh. just ashamed. Sammy D, if you're still here, I'm sorry that I joined your multiplayer the other night. Oh, I, I thought Sammy D'd myself. I Sammy D'd myself on screen. And pulled off eighth. Yes! <laughs> Cha cha chums, we were talking about you. What? Her ears were burning. We were wondering why you ghosted us. <laughs> Wait, no. We were wondering if you were mad at us for ghosting. Ye I can't remember what Gargamon said. Anyways, we miss you. That's the bottom line. We miss you. And that's my take on life. Okay, let's see. Multiplayer is winning, but I only have four votes. I need at least five votes to decide what I'm going to do. Oh, multiplayer. Okay. Oh, oh, it's like dancing. It's like, yeah, six votes. So many multiplayers. 83 to 17%. Sammy D said, you frenzy f void yourself. Right? No, I Sammy D myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored Don't that Don't ever you, take what he says personally. I'm honored that you think <laughs> that I could share in that achievement. Frenzy fanboy. What? I don't have anything named after me in the game. Yeah, Nobody do. says anything about me in the game. Yeah, they do. Who? And under what circumstances? The calculator. You're making it up. You don't stream enough for people to say things about your gameplay. Okay. <laughs> Agreed. I think you're really good at the game. <laughs> it's not like it's not like when people like beat the game at that tier ninety nine getting thirty wins and they're like, I just frenzy fanboyed the game. Nobody mm. says that. Mm -hmm. Nobody says that. No, CMD, I'm not good at multiplayer. I totally thought I was going to lose the entire time. And then I was like, I just felt like a jerk. But I, it was so late in the tour, I figured you had already accomplished it because you're usually not a procrastinator like I am. Okay, <laughs> we got 10 votes. People are wanting multiplayer. Frenzy fanboy. Multiplayer. Multiplayer. If we don't have a bunch of people join, I really expect you to join. No. Why not? Because I'm going to frenzy fanboy it. I'm going to boycott multiplayer. That's what frenzy fanboying it means. Wait, hold on. Create room? Why did that feel weird? Just a regular lobby. Max eight players. Because you can do... Because like, that's not normal. You can get tokens if you like okay. team up with people. We're going to only do six races, though, because I feel like 12 races is a long time. Oh, and man. It's dinner time. It's like... It's hump Three day, by the, the way. For some people, it's hump day, by the way. What do you want to eat for dinner? Oh man! On Wednesday nights, we order takeout because we started doing this during COVID. We wanted to support the restaurants. Room code, um, and it's just stuck. Okay, 1972 3844. 1972 3844. Should we make a poll of what we should consume mm -hmm. for a hump day meal? Yeah, just don't put Panda Express on it. Jeez, it's been like five months since we've been there, and you're still like, it's gross. No, it's not. I don't think it's gross. We have it way too much. 
Oh. First thing going up on here. <laughs> Do you like how that backfired? Nobody vote for panda. Ready, fire, aim. <laughs> I'm just not a huge uh, panda. Well, here's the thing. I'm okay with panda if I feel like like the broccoli and like maybe a little orange chicken, but like the unbreaded chickens. Because sometimes it just Guess like, what? feels so starchy. Panda gets two of the four slots now. What? I'm okay with Zhao. Zhao's good. Sometimes when Frenzy Fanboy wants Panda Express, I'll go to Zhao for me because they have really, really good like rice bowls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or they have really good ramen. Can we do maybe fire house? house I'm usually subs? not this. Di I'm usually not this difficult, but I also don't feel like that today. Oh my gosh! I just had sandwiches yesterday. Remember? What's the next thing? What 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 else is there to eat on Earth? Um, put Thai food because Thai sounds great, and then put like. Euros, like that Greek place is really good. Nick the Greek? Yeah. I like that one. And then let's put Okay. Should we do the wild card? What's that chick that chicken one? The chicken chick chickadees, chicken roos. It's right off the freeway. Yeah, what is that called? Next to the outlet. Chicken chicks. Chicken chicks? We haven't been there since we were house hunting. Yeah, that might be too much of a I don't really feel Walker. like something like, br I don't feel like breaded meat. Okay. All That's right. why I was kind of anti-panda. Okay. Is it, if I go to panda, I have to be in like an orange chicken mood to like really enjoy it. Okay. All right. But I just don't feel like Good breaded meat. Yeah. No, That's I get all. it. That's all. Got to be in the mood. Put down, um, why the name's slipping my mind. Okay, guys. One, nine, seven, two, three, eight, four, four. What's the place that I like that's downtown? That's the has the really good like healthy spread. It's the they have the sometimes they have like they have the it's like the, the what's it called pasta uh, is pasta in the name of it? But it's not really pasta. They have like the lemon chicken rice bowl that you got that oh, one time. Oh, twisted noodle. Twisted noodle. Put a twisted noodle in there. Twisted noodle's delish. We haven't been there in a long time. So far. Yeah. All right. Here we go. If anyone cares. <laughs> One, nine, seven, two, three, may, eight, four, four. You may just influence what Frenzy Fan Girl and Frenzy <laughs> Fan Boy consume tonight. Mm hmm mm. To choose my peeps. Let's go. Yes. Ooh, Panda Express, 100%. Oh, wait, no, 0%. 100%. How do we make it big? I'm okay with Panda. I'll just get Zao's if we go, because it's less starchy. I'm going to go with that one. I think I chose the wrong one. That's okay. Puka Kirby, you're boycotting multiplayer? I hope you join a race right now. Here we go. Cha Cha Chubs is in it. Yes. Oh, I love playing multiplayer with you guys. I'm going to like kind of be behind at the beginning because I needed, I forgot to change my settings. Frenzy Fanboy doesn't like, doesn't care anymore, but I always have to change my settings. Otherwise I lose. I mean, I oh, I missed the box. So that wasn't really helpful. You just have to reset. I can't oh, reset. Oh, wait. I can't reset, but that's okay. It was worth it to enjoy the next six races. Okay. It's worth it to enjoy the next six races because it's part of my strategy. Whenever I do this, I, like, feel a little bit better about it all. When I don't do this, it's just hard. Like, I need the protection, you know? Oh, wait. How did... It didn't work? Did I choose... Oh, was multiplayer the last thing I played last night? And I literally just did the opposite. <laughs> you back to... Oh, my gosh. Frenzy fangirl. <laughs> Oh, no, you just turned it on. I don't mind them on. Let me not miss this box this time. Then why did my shell disappear? That is, oh, maybe because it got hit. Oh, that's a pretty good assumption. Okay, I'm going to try to do it while I'm going straight here. Okay. Oh, boy, what did you, you inadvertently hit something there. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a lot of people with my uh, lightning right now. Maybe, oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. 
Sammy D, I wish you were, I think you wish you were playing right now because you're like, Frenzy Fangirl sucks. And you would totally kick my trash. Wow, somebody has got like the craziest coin boxes going. There were like four coin boxers you could choose from, so I think a bunch of people had coin boxers. Or maybe there were three coin boxers. Look at all those. Three coin boxers in the lobby. Four. Look at how many pipes you just got, little frenzy fangirl. I can't do that. I need to not do that. Why do I want to do that? Yesterday that was bad. That looked horrible. I didn't do it that way this time. We won't talk about it. Poochie. <sighs> Wait, what? Look how far behind this one is. I haven't played it in a long time. I'm going to go with... What's our, uh, we only have five votes for our poll. In other seven. words, nobody cares. Oh, seven. I'm okay with the Zows. I'll get like, you Panda. Like Panda. I'll get you Panda. I'll get myself Zows. You guys should Google Zows if you're interested in, like, casual, fast type food where it's not like McDonald's. It's like Panda level. Did I spell it right? Z-A-Z-O-A-S? Z-A-O apostrophe S. Oh, is Z-A-O or Z-O-A? Z-A-O. Zow. Oh. Zow. I told him went Zoas. <clears throat> That's okay. I said Zoas. That's okay. Hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. guys, I got it. Ooh. Lucky seven, Flinzy. Guess who's in first place <laughs> in the beginning of the race? Which means I'm not going to win. I know. Which means we're not going to win. It's a bad strategy to get into first place in the beginning of the race. la 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 Don't you... Don't be shy. You wanna kiss the girl. You wanna kiss the girl. What? Da, 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 da. That's what I sounded like. Okay. I hope no one runs over me. Please, people don't run over Frenzy <clears throat> Fangirl. I wish you were playing Frenzy Fanboy. Nah. Boom. Oh, don't miss this box. Oh, I won't. Can jump into Fangirl. I skipped the coin. Ooh. Oh, look at Frenzy O'Clock. You got it, you got it. Oh, Davey? Davey with his bullet bill? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Bullets are faster than frenzies. Why does anyone have a channel called Bullet Fans? Ticket hoarding fans. I mean, that was a very clever... See that red shell that Davey has, and I'm kind of scared of it. As well you should be. We're keeping our protection. Santa Bowser? Oh, I missed all those bananas. Ooh. That was beautiful. Davy just ate it. Davey. He literally ate that big banana. That giant banana. Here's the thing. is like right now right I don't know it. what to do. Like should I ditch these and hope for like a red shell frenzy? Or should I just yeah, keep yeah. them? You think so? Ditch them. Ditch them. Same That's yourself. scary. That's scary. I hope we get a red shell at least. Oh, 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 girl. Cha-cha-chubs oh, -chubs won. Oh. Cha -cha, -chubs. Oh, cha cha chubs. She crossed the line before I could kill her. She crossed the line a I long tried. time ago. I tried to kill you, cha cha chubs. <laughs> but you were just doing so good. <laughs> you guys are so good at this game, cha cha chubs. <laughs> was Santa Bowser. Look at that. Shake's fist. We got seven votes so far. The majority are saying Panda and Zows. People love Panda. I don't think anyone's heard of Nick the Greek before. Oh, I know. Oh, Nick wait, the we Greek. Got eight votes now. Nick the Greek's like Euros type thing. Twisted Noodles is like healthy leg like bowls. You can go like vegan. You could go meat. You could go whatever. And you can go like pasta or rice or all these things. It's delicious. The flavors are on point, but it's kind of far away. I wonder who voted for Twisted Noodle. Mm. Is Twisted Noodle in other areas, or is it just a St. George place? It's just a St. George place. So I wonder the people that are voting for Twisted Noodle, if they've actually been there before. If they just... They just think just noodles sound... They probably to... just think noodles sound good. <laughs> we don't have a Noodles Co. here, though. Mm -hmm. Noodles and Company? Nope, but we have a Pasta Factory. That's one of my favorite places. I don't like Pasta Factory, though. It's not no. that good. Mm -mm. I mean, if you're in a pinch... And you need some sustenance. Oh. These bots. These bots. Except these tours, These tours bots are just unreal. 
Davy always stays in my sights because he's friendly. Hey, we got nine votes. 44% for Panda, uh-huh. 33% for Thai food, 22% mm-hmm. for Twisted Noodle. Apparently people aren't really into uh, Euros. Yeah, Euros can be really good though. They have, <clears throat> what they have is really, really good fries. Wait, no. That's Pita, what was the one by the theater? Pita Madness. Pita Madness, I think that's what I wanted over. If we were, oh, who did that? just did the shaka um wait what am i doing where am i at which way is up do you guys ever feel that way playing this game you like lose sight of the horizon and you don't know which way you're going you are in space i know so technically it is a little bit more difficult to define up mm-hmm. and down yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. get it girl get it Mm, get, ooh, look mm, at all those get coins. It, mm, oh, oh, get, oh, get, off. get it. Oh, ooh, third. That is respectable. With this group of multiplayers. I know. They're all really good. very respectable. It's two third places in a row. Just so you know. Kind of like Michael Jordan. 23. Two third places. <laughs> Call me Michael Jordan. No? Okay. I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan didn't get third place twice in a row in something. No, but that's like our only common thing we have between us. Oh, between you and Michael Jordan? Yeah, two and a three. Not that you have like the same amount of eyeballs and hands and feet. He's like, nope. Just I got second place three times. Wait, third place two times. And he has a number 23 on his jersey. Therefore. Drop on the mic. Yeah, whatever. You get it. Oh, guys, I like playing with you. Thanks for help. I kind of miss our doing our streams first day of ranked because I feel like that is what allowed me to not procrastinate in the tour. I feel like it sparks my energy for the tour. Because when we do like late night, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. When we do late night tour reactions, oh, he stole my coin. When we do late night tour reactions, I feel like we stay up really late and then we go to bed and then the next day I'm like kind of tired because we stayed up so late. And then like, I just don't ever really find my groove. Like for the rest of the next two weeks. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, sleep's important to me. (laughs) Um, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see kind of the uh, the uptick in views yeah. for this video that we have yeah. versus our previous videos. I mean, we have not been... If, if we end up like getting twice as many views on this video as we do in our normal scheduled live I mean, let's be videos. honest. We have been lazy YouTubers the past year. And that's just the truth. And that's... Oh my goodness, guys. Be nice. Uh-oh. Davey's going to be mean. I'm slowing down so Davey doesn't horn me. Get last place. <clears throat> oh. Because oh, I'll get something that will catch me up a little bit. Still only have nine votes. We have 400 people watching, but only <laughs> nine people care about us actually eating food tonight. Nobody cares about our well-being. Nope. I need to learn not to hit those. They slow me yeah, down. Yeah, and you don't get extra points. Oh, really? I wasn't doing it for extra points, but I, I just... I think you get points for hitting those. Hmm. War Dog hates Chinese. Okay. That makes sense. We don't really have good Chinese out here. There's not really, like Panda and this place called like China Garden, but China Garden's not that great. It's Panda Garden. It is called Panda Garden. You're right. If I go to Zao's, I'm going to get, they have like, it's not true ramen, but they have like a Asian type ramen bowl. So good. The broth is delicious. And I'm going to choose that one. The noodles in it are really, really good. And then you can choose like steak or tofu or whatever. And they load it with veggies and 
It's really good. You put cilantro on top? I kind of am a cilantro fan. Cha Cha Chubbs loves Chinese and sushi. Sushi would be amazing tonight. I love sushi. I could sushi eat sushi good. every night and be happy. You couldn't. I could. Frenzy Fanboy used to never eat sushi. He, like, just swore it off for, like, ten years of our marriage. And then, I, But it was, like, my favorite food. And then I finally convinced him, just trust me. Well, you got to realize that I grew up in a landlocked state. Yeah. And in my family, it wasn't really a thing to eat sushi in landlocked states. I was going to say, it was less about landlocked state, because a lot of people live in landlocked states, and more about... You didn't. I know. That's what I'm saying. So you grew up in a state that bordered the ocean. That's really good seafood. I grew up in a state that was landlocked. But also your parents just aren't, like, seafood people. I think if your parents... I think if your parents had more access to seafood, I still don't think that they would do it. Okay. I'm not arguing there. All I'm I'm saying saying. is that for me growing up, Mm -hmm. it didn't make sense. Yeah. And so I never did. Yeah. But then we moved to Georgia. And guess what? Georgia's not landlocked. It's true. But like the way that the... (laughs) The the fish that we were eating in Georgia also probably did not come from Georgia. Just saying. Right, it comes from the ocean. Probably like Alaskan cod and... What? That's just halibut. Expensive. Sorry, Alaskan halibut and that type of stuff. I mean, they got fish. Yeah, but like all the salmon that you eat? I don't eat a lot of salmon. Puck Kirby wants to know if we've been to Japan. Sushi is amazing and super cheap. Japan is so high on my bucket list. I have not been to Japan. I have been to China. Been to Hong Kong, Canton, and Beijing. But I have not been to Japan. Japan's like way up there. I want to do a Japan and Thailand trip in the next year or two. Has Pucka Kirby been to Japan? Sammy D's been to Japan a lot. Maybe not a lot, but he's been there. choose let's go with her and that and that fuck a kirby do you live in japan can you imagine getting the milky way like out on the water well, like we wouldn't be on the waters obviously because it wouldn't be still but like with those what are those called the big rock things that come out of the water and there's like tons of them that you can like kayak through you know what i'm talking about What's that place called? It's slipping my mind. Pucka Kirby's been to Japan twice. Doesn't live there, but it's been to Japan twice. Pucka Kirby, with my really, really, really horrible description, uh, what is that place called? Okay, so I totally misinterpreted. Okay. Pucka Kirby says, gotta go now, since Yen is weak. So I thought he was like, they were like leaving? Yeah. And no, I was trying no. to figure out what like the mistyped word was for Yen is weak. It's like maybe like Wi-Fi is weak or... <laughs> you gotta go now because the US dollar is worth more right. than the Japan dollar. But now I get it that we're still talking about going to Japan <laughs> and did not mistype Yen. And weak is meant to be there as well. <laughs> So basically, he meant exactly what he wrote. You know, if I can't hear the voice intonations, I have a hard time. I know. This is why when sometimes I'm like, are you mad at me in your text? You have to realize, like... You ask me if I'm mad at you when we're talking, though. Sometimes you don't change... Do I just... I don't have voice intonations in real life? Sometimes. I just walk around like this and say things. No, it's like, how are you doing today? Okay. Is there something I can do for you? No. Well, don't you think that if you have to ask how I'm doing, if you don't already know how I'm doing? I just said a banana. But sometimes it's like, you know, you it's the first time I'm seeing you, and... Yeah, maybe you should have asked. Maybe you should have asked earlier in the life of that day. But it was like the first time I saw you that day, besides early in the morning. (laughs) You wish I didn't bug you as much as I do. No, I am not saying that. No, I'm just saying, like, that's the truth. 
You wish that I don't bug you. Do you feel bad that I don't ask you how you're doing all the time? Every hour or half hour? I don't ask you every hour or half hour. (laughs) Is this what we're getting? Is this the subliminal message? No. That's brought to you by Frenzy fans? Are you Are you wishing... Are, are you, you guys wishing, are so good. Are you wishing that I would ask you how you are doing more more frequently? No. No. No, that's totally off topic. Hey, we got ten votes and a tie now. Now we have to have a tiebreaker. We got two <laughs> we got forty percent for Thai food, forty percent for panda, and twenty for twisted noodle. What's the what's the ramen at the Thai place that I get all the cow soy? Have you guys ever had cow soy ramen? Oh. Best tasting thing in the world. You should, you should Google it. It's like a coconut milk based yummy, yummy, yumminess with you can do shrimp or tofu or whatever and ramen noodles and all these little veggies. It's delish. Guys, this was fun. I enjoyed this stream. This was good. How long are we going at? Hour and a half. Hour and a half exactly right now. And it was just a multiplayer stream pretty much in like a little tour reaction i think i called it a ride along we are riding along with you that's for sure frenzy fangirl so there we go riding along oh we got 11 votes yeah yeah panda express 45 percent okay i'm going to zaos i'll get you panda thanks guys this was fun Ello, you missed the whole stream june the dude 92 you missed the whole stream man but that's okay we had fun just like rewind it watch it let us we know if you played on the drum line in your high school. Talked with Sammy D. We talked behind Antelope's back. We missed Cha Cha Chubs. We talked. We didn't talk about Dune yet. Dune two. No, we Go did at the it. very beginning. Remember, Ooh. we wanted to know what time it was on Arkanan. That's not what it's called. I was closer this time. Though, I always know what it's called until you try to say it. <laughs> like it totally messes up my mind. Arkanon. There's not an in it. Arrakis. Arrakis. Is that what it is? What time is it on Arrakis? But right you now? always put an N in it. It throws my brain off. Oh, and I, I can't throw your it brain off so much. I'm like, Arcanon. What? No, no. Arrakis. Isn't that what it's called? What time is it on Arrakis? It's a great question. My Gold Pass subscription expired, but we're Ooh, doing it later. Yes. Whew. I mean, I don't want to tell anyone how to spend their money, but if you guys love the game, let's keep it going. How can we remember the planet Arrakis? By not saying an in it. I can always remember it until you say it first. For some reason, so how about Arrakis, this? it sounds too much like arachnid for me. Let's it's do like this. spiders. Let's do this. Next time you want to know the name of it, Arrakis. just ask me what the name of it is instead of saying... Can we just call it Dune? Because that's really what it's called. It is called Dune. In the scriptures. Cool. Its holy name is Dune. Dune. Somebody Arrakis. was. I think it was Sana. Sana was saying that there's a Dune series coming. Like the... The prequel series coming later this year? Like a TV series? I it's think making... Sana's yanking her chain. No, I don't think so. I, I think, think it's real. Sana's no, just saying it's legit real. she wants. I looked it up, I think. Did I look it up? I actually don't think I looked it up. <laughs> but I think it's legit real. Because I think I've heard that before. All I that... bet you she has some bet with someone to see about the Google hit spike of <laughs> Dune TV series prequel. <laughs> Google it right now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fall for that. I am. No. I am oh. hiding my. You thought I was gonna grab your phone. I did. I did. <laughs> I know not to touch your phone. Don't touch my phone. Fourteen you years. Sick little frenzy fan girl. Fourteen years of marriage has taught me never to touch your phone. Hold on. Dune series. Um. TV. Here we go. Yeah, from like 1972. Oh, but I think there's one being Congrats. released this year. Hold on. I think there's one being released. Is that like 2024? There we go. Dune Prophecy is what it's called. So maybe we'll understand a little bit more about the back story behind yeah. why everyone acts the way that they do. I think so. But here's the thing is I'm nervous about it because Dune is such a good series. Like, I feel like you, not that you've been frustrated with me, but Star Wars, for example, has released so many series of so many different like offshoots and lines that I feel like it's just becoming like diluted, right? You got the Boba Fett, you got the Mandalorian, you got all these things and like... Grogu? You're upset with Grogu? No, I love Grogu. I really do. But when you get to the point where you're producing so much content about a storyline, it's hard to watch it all. 
And then I feel like some of it's like haphazard and like the character development never really gets there. There are a few, like Grogu, who did really, 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 really wonderful. Like Mandalorian, great. But how many more Star Wars ones are there now? I'm not even na I'm naming the like most popular two, Mandalorian and Bo Boba Fett. But there are like, what, like 20 other ones now? I can't keep up with it all. Anyways, I hope they don't do that with Dune. Like, I want Dune to remain, like, this indie sci-fi, like, unique thing that doesn't get diluted and, like, overproduced. That's all I'm saying. Who's in it? Push on the cast button. <clears throat> is Timothy Charlemagne in it? Emily Watson. Who's that? She is in, um, hold on. Who do I know her from? Punch Drunk Love. Love. What would I have seen her in? You would have seen her in The Book Thief. That's a really that. good one. Okay, War go Horse. Back. But hold on, she was also in recently in Apple Tree Yard, Little Women. All the ones that you don't I mean, like watching with me. keep on naming stuff that I've never heard of before. Yeah, these are shows that you didn't really want to watch with me. Who is playing Paul? Is it Timothy Charlemagne again? Well, if it's the prophecy, does it have... Oh, it's going to be even before Paul. Yeah. So, what was Paul's dad's name? Um... It was a funny name. Emperor. No, he's not an emperor. What was he? We're going to look this up. It was like... Jack or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny name. It was, it was a very... Like Jack. I guess he would have just been in... Yeah, poor the poor actor. I forget the actor's name, but he's like... Every single movie that he's cast in, they all he always dies. Oscar Isaac. Duke. Leto! Yeah. But like, Duke was his name. Yeah, So Duke Leto. Leto um, I always think of 30 Seconds to Mars yeah. uh, singer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jared Leto. I was going to say Johnny Leto, and I was like, that's wrong. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. And so when they kept on saying Leto, I kept on thinking, oh, 30 seconds to Mars. Hey, guys, should I use my gold pass trial at the end of this trial? Yeah? <laughs> sure. Ready to fire in. <laughs> when do you want him to use the gold pass trial? So probably when there's, like, gold, or so, like, in the tour rewards, something that's actually worthwhile getting. Mm -hmm. What's available in the tour rewards? When is right now? Driver Week? Whenever it's Driver I, Week, oh, you should I start think it, it could be now. That's what I'm saying. Whenever it's Driver Week, you should do your Gold Pass trial. I just don't. I guess I don't know what you mean by the at the end of this trial. How do you have two trials on top of each other? Or do you mean at the end of this tour? Probably at the end of this tour. Okay. To be able to get this and the next tour's stuff. Gotcha. Okay, so is Leto going to be in the prequel, like as a as a as a baby boy? As a baby boy, okay. So Duke Leto Atreides is that how you say it? Atreides. Yeah. And then here's the thing that what I want to figure out is: does it say at all like the year that part one is? I thought it was like 2019. Not when it was released, but like when it. Oh, 2021. Happened. What? Part one came out after COVID? Right. That's not right. Why is it Part not right? one came out way before COVID. I think it was like one of the movies, the first movies we saw back. Really? Mm hmm. I mean, that was three years ago. We can go look at our AMC history. Okay. Okay, someone tell me, when does Dune take place? Like, what year in the science fiction world? It's like 10,000. It's like 10,179 or something. And then, oopsie. Dune Prophecy. I bet it tells us right here. Like, Dune Prophecy. Let's see here. It takes a price... 10,000 years before the events of yep. Herbert's novel? Yeah, so it's, so it's like, like... It's like forever before. Contemporary? Yes. 10,000 years before. So like two... Th it's gonna be like... So like... 
in like year zero, like the first century AD. So legit, go to, let's find out in what year that Dune takes place. I'm just seeing right here if it gives us anything. Okay, so it doesn't give us anything there. So Dune... 10,000 years, that's that's not a prequel. 10,000 years? That's like another dimension. <laughs> that has nothing to do with... Yeah, 10, 191. So, so it's in like, like year 191. 191. Uh-huh. So there's going to be like no technology. Probably. There's definitely no spice collectors. So like it's going to be completely different. It's going to be all about like the worm and stuff. I like I wonder like so the worm is like the god, right? I wonder if it's going to be like yeah. the I beginning wonder... of that where people are like first understanding like these magical powers and like what they stand for and trying to make sense of it. And I wonder if there's going to be some type of like pre messiah that comes and like professes like hey like all this trouble stuff is happening but guess what like some day down in the future it's gonna be the beginning of like what's the name of the clan that the mom is from i always forget the name of them ben jeseret yeah it's gonna be like the beginning of them and when they start laying down like their religious beliefs and like the politics of it all like what is yeah. true and what is created to control man and all that stuff. It's going to be fascinating. Oh, wait, 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 wait. June the Dude 2092 is dropping some wisdom here. Okay. It's 10-191 AG after Guild. So 191 AG. What is after Guild then? What is their know. Guild? For some reason I thought that we were talking about like our current time measuring system which has to do with the before christ and after christ but this is ag so we're in like this is complete science fiction and a complete after guild dune after guild is the acronym for acro guild it refers to the time when the spacing guild established a monopoly on all space travel transport and imperial banking throughout the known universe in the year so at that point in time there will still be technology Oh, wait, in the year zero, which uh -huh. is 11,075 AD. Okay, so if after Guild is 11,075 AD, then Dune 1 is technically 21,150 like, AD. And this is happening in 11,000. Okay. Touche. Are we interpreting this correct? Dune we are. the Dude 92? I think we are. An imperial banking throughout the known universe in the year zero. So there's so or much technology. 11,075 AD. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So after guild, so the guild, the spacing guild establishes a monopoly in year... 11.075 and at that point they yep. kind of like reset because that yep. was like the biggest thing to happen the in 10,000 years. It's like okay from this point forward it's year zero. Nobody wants to write 21,000 No one wants anymore. to remember Christ anymore apparently. With space travel it doesn't matter is what they're saying. Who knows? Who knows what's going to be taken on? Maybe that... It is like version one of our humanity. Nobody knows. I'll just have faith in what we want to believe in and we go with it. Cool. Fun talk. Hey, we got 16 votes. 50% for Panda. I'm eating hungry. It's almost like 6 o'clock. Yeah. Let's go get, I'm going to go get you Panda and Mew Zhao, And then okay. I'll be back. Okay. And my car has enough charge to go. So that'll be fun. Maybe I'll come with you. You should come with me. If you permit me. Oh, here we go. However, the setting is meant to depict a universe far removed from our current era. Yeah. With advanced technologies and a complex socio-political landscape. Cool. Oh, we haven't watched... F Fairly. Fairly, with an L, Odd Parents yet. But now you're going to confuse Friends of Amboy for life. Don't mess with him like that. 
he'll forever be confused. Okay, guys, this was so much fun. Thanks for hanging out. June the Dude, thanks for being our wiki. Yeah. This was come fun. join us more often, man. Yeah, maybe this was if, fun. Maybe if we stream more in the afternoons, mountain standard time, or daylight time. Okay, for we'll the people who are more. legit still here, plus in the chat if you prefer this time. Negative in the chat, so plus if you prefer it. Negative if you like our late, 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 late night streams. That will be Right helpful. when the tour actually resets. And while you guys are doing that, I hope we can get at least five people to tell us. While you guys are doing that, Frenzy Fanboy... What is your thankful, grateful made you happy? Mm. Yeah, I'd have to say it was good to see some old Georgia friends this weekend. Oh, Andy. We went up to Salt Lake City to one of our friends ended up getting married. So if you guys have been following us for a while... In Georgia, I had like my best friend in the entire world two and a half years ish ago, two years and three months, months ago. She passed away from cancer and broke everybody's heart. She was only like 40 years old when she passed away. All that to say, this is her husband. Her husband has met someone that he loves and they just got married this past weekend. So, uh, so I'm we super up, happy for yeah, him. So we went up there and were able to take part in it. Yeah. And there were lots of family members, new and old, that we got to see and talk with. And yeah. It was just a good old time, you know? Just a yeah. good old time. Yeah. It was fun. That was that, that that made me happy. I was grateful for that opportunity. It made me happy, too. Yeah. I liked it, too. So it was a beautiful wedding. How about you? Ooh, I have so many things. Um, I'm going to say that I am grateful for... Can I just list off a bunch of things? Do it. Modern medicine... Oof. Because doctors, doctors, it's been a while. Sliding day. doors, not pushing doors. Oh my goodness, guys! <laughs> okay, while I'm waiting for some boat votes, most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life. Not really. I embarrass myself a lot. I go to the doctor the other day because I'm like miserable and I'm like something like I think my strep throat came back. Go through like the whole doctor's appointment and we're sitting there. And he's like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do this. I'm going to call in this prescription here and like, keep me in the loop. Like, I hope you get better because you look miserable type thing. I'm like, okay, cool. And keep in mind at some point in time, his assistant was in the room, but his assistant was no longer in the room. And he didn't say like any instructions. He's just like, okay, cool. See you later. And he, there's two doors. There's the door that the patient comes in and then there's the door that the doctor comes in. He's like, see you later. I'm like, okay, cool. See you later. So he leaves I think I'm done. Out, out one door. Out the doctor door that goes into like the doctor universe. And then I'm like, okay, cool. That's the end of it. So I go to the door and I try to get out and I can't get out. And I'm like, <laughs> is it locked? What? Am I pulling it wrong? So like I'm pushing and I'm like pulling and like pushing and pulling. I'm like, maybe I'm supposed to wait in here for the assistant again. This goes on for like eight minutes. I'm like wait a little bit. And I'm like, nobody's coming. Try to get out. Can't get out. Wait a little bit. Try to get out. Can't get out. And I'm just like, people pleaser here. Don't want to look like an idiot. I know on the other side of this door, there's a whole world of doctors that have solved much more complicated things than <laughs> should I still be in this room or not? <laughs> and so I'm like, should I go? And I chicken out and I sit down, try to open the door. What should I do? I finally open the doctor's door and I look out and it's like this office area where like doctors are talking and like accountants are and all this stuff. And I'm like, I like open it and peek out. I'm like, oh, that's intimidating. So I closed it and I'm like, what do I do? I don't think anyone's coming for me. So I just open the doctor's door and I'm like, hello? Hello? Hey, guys. And then they all like look at me. Like the entire room, there's like 20 people in this room. They all stop what they're doing and look at me. I'm like, am I still supposed to be in here? <laughs> and they're like, how are we supposed to know? And I was like, the doctor came and saw me. And then, like, I thought we were done, and he left, but, like, the door's locked, and I can't get out. And the whole office erupts in laughter. <laughs> and they say, it's a sliding door. <laughs> Don't worry. It happens four times a day. <laughs> These doors are huge. They're, like, they're like floor-to-ceiling doors that are probably, like, three and a half feet wide, super heavy, type doors, but the way that the handle is, it looks like you're supposed to push it. No, guys, you don't push it. You don't pull it. 
you slide it. So I got out of the room. And then I was like, am I supposed to like go get paperwork somewhere? I don't know. I'm embarrassed at this point in time. The doctor gave me zero instructions on what to do. So I just left. Yeah. I remember I just left. going to the doctor. Kind Nobody of having got mad at similar. Me. Yeah. It's like, well, am I good to just go? Like, what am I supposed to do now? Yeah. A lot like of everyone, times... Everyone just, like, left me kind of hanging high yeah. and dry. <laughs> a lot of times people will be like, yeah, like, okay, so, like, go like go to the front desk and, like, they're going to give you some paperwork or, like, you have a bill to pay or something. Right. It wasn't like that at all. The doctor's like, okay, sounds good. I'm going to send off your prescription. I'm like, cool. And then he leaves. And I'm like, okay. Anyways, I was the idiot who didn't know how to open the freaking door and I in that room for like 17 minutes i thought i would have loved to probably have more like, like 12 the next minutes patient open up the door like sliding it yeah and then the expression on your face of like i was hoping for that no oh no. you got me you i was got me hoping good. for that the entire time i was like this is a fire hazard <laughs> if this place catches on fire i'm going out that doctor's door but like do they legit lock you in here because they don't want people to accidentally come in and i was like i hope someone just like i hope the next appointment just comes in here and they're like oh we found another one you know like Good to get her some food and water. She's been in here for a while. <laughs> She's withering. <laughs> but no. Nigh into death. Swallowed my ego, asked those doctors, figured out how to slide the door, and off of my little merry way I went. And nobody's called me to get mad at me for not checking out. Yeah. Constant people pleaser here. You're good. It's a problem. Well, that's what made me happy the other day, listening <laughs> to that story. So thank you for sharing that with, with others. You're so welcome. I'm going to leave on that. That made me happy too. <laughs> And I'm starving. Speaking about withering away, I'm going to yeah. go get us some uh, Zows Let's and Panda. All, All right. right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. And until the next episode, save a ticket or two. All right. We'll see you guys later.